Hi students, next topic in flux. Flux due to flux due to point charge. Okay. Now <clears throat> case one. In case one, if point charge place inside of the closed surface inside of the closed surface okay consider one sphere its radius is r it is plus q okay plus q charge is placed at it center Understood? Okay. So, due to this one, due to this charge, electric field intensity on the surface, electric field intensity on the surface is equal to, you know, formula 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, charge is Q, distance is R, so you have taken R square, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, Q by R square. Okay. So, your required one is electric flux. Consider one small area. It is the electric field direction. This small area direction is also outwards. D above. Both are in a same direction. What about theta? Theta is equal to 0 degrees. Okay. Flux definition. Here closed surface integration. E bar dot D above. Closed surface integration. E D A cos theta means cos 0. Okay. Flux is equal to here electric field intensity. What are one? 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square. Here it is constant because of the surface area. Okay. Having same distance. So 1 by 4 epsilon naught q by r square. Remaining one is closed surface integration of dA cos 0 1. Okay. It gives the total surface area of the sphere. Total surface area of the sphere. Okay. So electric flux is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon dot Q by R square. Surface area 4 pi R square. 4 pi 4 pi R square R square cancel. Electric flux is equal to Q by epsilon naught. Electric flux is equal to here Q by epsilon naught. Okay. So if the point charge is placed inside of the closed surface, here develop flux is equal to what is one charge inside of the surface but epsilon naught. Epsilon naught means free space permittivity. Okay. So here if the point Charge is placed inside of the closed surface. On that case, flux is equal to charge inside of the surface by epsilon naught. Understood? Next case, if the point charge is placed outside of the closed surface. Okay. Outside of the closed surface. See, already first case is over. What are the one? Flux is equal in this case. Q inside by epsilon naught. In second case, you consider second case. If point charge is placed in outside of the Closed surface. Okay. If point charge is placed in outside of the closed surface, consider on closed surface. This one is the charge. Okay. These are the electric lines of forces. Here total flux means 
entering flux plus leaving flux entering flux plus leaving flux understood okay you know entering flux is equal to leaving flux in this case in this case entering flux is equal to leaving flux okay entering flux you are taken negative okay leaving flux you are taken positive that means inward flux negative outward flux positive what and one both are same is equal to zero if the point charge is in outside of the closed surface what about total flux zero total flux is zero if the charges are in outside flux through the okay flux associated with this closed surface is equal to zero okay in third case if some charges are placed in outside and some are placed in placed in inside of the closed surface of the closed surface some of the charges okay if some charges are placed in outside so and some are placed inside of the closed surface okay so you take in it is a closed surface q1 q2 q3 q4 q5 first of all flux due to inside charges flux due to inside charges means you consider total inside charge q1 plus q2 minus q5 by epsilon naught according to first case according to first case flux inside is equal to q1 plus q2 minus q5 by epsilon naught okay total charge inside next due to outside charges due to outside charges what the outside charges flux is zero okay according to second case what about total flux total flux is equal to inside plus outside so inside is q1 plus q2 minus q5 by epsilon naught plus zero so total flux is equal to here q1 plus q2 minus q5 by epsilon naught that means flux is developed only due to so inside of the charges only due to inside of the charges in closed surfaces in closed surface if the charge is in outside what about flux zero understood okay so based on this flux concept one example on a mean sphere is given okay it is placed inside of the uniform electric field okay is a mean sphere its radius is r so it is placed inside of the uniform electric field uniform electric field this one understood okay now your required one is what is the flux through curved surface what is the flux through curved surface you are asking one is flux through curved surface not total flux okay through only curved surface understood here how many surfaces one is plane surface another one is curved surface okay flux 
total flux means air one is curved another one is plain it is equal to zero why inside no charge inside no charge means total flux is equal to zero okay now flux through curved is equal to you write as minus flux through plane first of all find out the flux through plane flux through plane means see this plane direction is outwards now here field direction is inwards both are in a opposite direction you write as e bar dot a bar e a cos 180 degrees through plane is equal to minus ea okay through plane minus e what about area this area plane surface is pi r square so minus pi r square into e so flux through plane is equal to minus pi r square into e but what is the required quantity flux through curved surface flux through curved surface is equal to minus flux through plane minus up minus pi r square into e so flux through curved surface is equal to minus into minus plus pi r square into e okay flux through curved surface is equal to here pi r square into e first of all observe the so required quantity here required quantity is flux through curved surface flux through curved surface understood okay after simplification is this one see in 2007 in neat paper one bit a hollow cylinder has a charge q coulomb within it if phi is the electric flux in unit of voltmeter associated with the curved surface b okay here this flux is associated with this curved surface b okay the flux linked with the plane surface the flux linked with the plane surface a in in, in unit of voltmeter will be are understood one of the point charge is placed inside of the hollow cylinder inside of the hollow cylinder okay flux through this curved surface is given right what is the required quantity flux through this curved surface a sorry this plane surface a okay required one is flux through this plane surface a you know total flux is here total flux flux through a plus flux through b plus flux through c okay here a and c are same sur surfaces same type of surfaces okay same type of sur surfaces if the charge is placed here this flux is outwards this flux is also outwards understood okay so flux a is equal to flux c so total flux you write as flux a flux c flux a plus flux b is given flux flux c is nothing but flux a understood okay flux a plus flux a 2 into flux a plus flux through b it is the total flux so if the point charge is inside if the point charge is inside okay so that total flux you know that one q by epsilon na q by epsilon i am also derive this one okay if the point charge is placed inside of the closed surface total flux is equal to charge inside of the surface by epsilon na okay so here required one is a q by epsilon na it is taking this side phi flux through a is equal to 1 by 2 q by epsilon naught minus phi this one is the answer are understood once again hollow cylinder is given 
inside of the other cylinder is one of the point charge is placed okay charge is placed so that is q coulomb next phi is the flux through this curved surface required one is flux through plane surface a you know total flux is through this plane surface through this curved surface through this plane surface what do you know flux through a equal to flux through c okay total one is this one okay so both are same through a means 2 into flux a this one is flux through b that is equal to q by epsilon naught okay you know that one if the flux is placed inside of the closed surface okay so phi is taking this side so q by epsilon naught minus phi 2 is taking this side 1 by 2 in bracket q by epsilon naught minus phi answer is this one understood okay